The Kegley Institute of Ethics at CSU Bakersfield hosted a two-day discussion Tuesday, April 18th and Wednesday, April 19th on the global fight against human trafficking. A Kern County perspective. I'm, I'm a survivor, but that doesn't consume the whole part of my life. It's a piece of who I am, just like for all of us, you know, where we come from, a piece is, it's a piece of who we are. But I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a community member, I'm an advocate, I'm a friend. I have all those different aspects to me, as you all have a view. And I hope that that gives you hope that there is more after this horribleness that we're talking about. On day two, Wednesday, April 19th, a panel of five Kern County coalition leaders in the fight against human trafficking spoke in the multi-purpose room at Residence Hall to students, faculty, and community members. Those representatives included Bakersfield Police Department, members of Kern Coalition Against Human Trafficking, Alliance Against Family, Violence, and Sexual Assault, and CSUB social work professor Patricia Henry. Sandy Hu spoke of services available in Kern County for victims who are in need of refuge. I provide services to victims and survivors and um, provide them any necessary you know, resources <coughs> that would meet their short and long-term needs. So that can be anything from crisis intervention to um, any type of referral to legal counsel. Um. On day one, avid advocate, actress, and U.S. Senate lobbyist Marina Servino spoke inside the Doré Theater. She spoke to students and members of the Bakersfield community about what sparked her interest in taking a stand against human trafficking. According to Savino, she thought simply understanding the root of racism, sexism, and prejudice would help the world stop it from happening. Servino was stunned when she realized that when it comes to human trafficking, the traffickers only think about the profit they will be making in a victim. Servino explained to the audience that human trafficking affects everyone. It doesn't matter what kind of economic background, race, and gender the victim is. She explained the motives behind the trafficker is to make a profit by enslaving someone. If you know anybody who is in need of assistance, you are urged to call the Kern Coalition Against Human Trafficking hotline at 888 or visit the website at kcaht.org. Reporting for Runner News Network, I am Paul Lopez.